Hello everyone, welcome back to jobskillshare.org. Today we are going to be starting another section in Office 365 Administrator course right here. So today we are talking about reports, service health and support and some extra things inside. It will be a quick video because we don't have too much in there. So let's go ahead and um, log into our portal. So we're going to go ahead and go to admin and in here we will go to reports now reports are pretty important for uh, Office 365 and usually it's kind of utilized by uh, your manager or your management team because they would like to know what's going on in these um, specific areas like mail if they want to know if there is any email activity going on so if you click on the email activity you will see some kind of bar um, 30 days, 180 days and they can export that and then kinda utilize this information to do something else you c they can also see what's new and what's deleted um, most cases they will be using this for future um, uh, for anything that makes if, it, if it's making uh, progress in some area or maybe some areas are not good like for example we getting uh, a lot of emails about spam so they will run a report that what's going on how much spam are we getting um, or they can basically come to the usage part of it and click say hey what kind of browsers are people using so then they can determine uh, they can read their customers or clients or employees or whatever so they um, kind of utilize their future um, deployments through this and this can be also used for troubleshooting things, auditing things, protection, like if you want to know if there's any malware detected and how, where, who sent it and things like that, you know, you can run a report to it. You can run a report by rules, then want to see how many rules are there, top rules, rules match the email and stuff like that. So basically reports are a um, great um, way t for managers to kind of keep track of things and you know, wants to make better uh, things in the future service health another one this is something that you definitely need to have on your um, iPhone or any phone that you use you have three ways to get this app because what it does if Microsoft uh, system is down let's say portal is down the front end you'll get probably get a notification on your phone so this is a great way for you to tell your users that there's something going on it was what if they ask you that how much time is it gonna take so you can come back and see what's going on and kind of like have an idea uh, and tell your users that this is how much time it's going to take per Microsoft you really can do too much because now since it's a cloud-based system you really don't have control over the troubleshooting part when things goes down from this side and this is why they're saying it's going to be up 99.9 percent .9 all the time so kind of like you're gonna have to go through with that so that's kind of a really important part right here that you definitely need to get this on your uh, phone you can uh, reset password for people you can search people you can do uh, a little admin task on that app plan maintenance now this is really good because if there is something that's gonna go down, now most of the cases they won't this won't go down like that's what they're saying that's not gonna go down like that. But what if there is something going on that's too uh important and then they have to do it. There's no other way. So at least you will get the notification ahead of the time and then you can see what's going on, maintenance history, things like that. Support overview. If you click on this overview, this is a front page that you get you go to your portal admin site and you get this uh, or oh, the first time you log into this um, admin side. This is another important one that we discussed in the beginning that you know you get this all green status and if there's some issue going on you'll see the color will change and they will explain it and all the issues and what's going on if it's still not resolved they will tell they'll probably put something in there that this is this is how much time it's going to take and then here's a nice little overview of everything that you might get some emails total, total number of emails you'll see it right here total number of blocked email things like that you can see it from this side on the right side you can see that the issue issues that Microsoft is having and um, yeah OneDrive is right there so that's pretty big issue right now service request is like your help desk so basically you're send you're kind of like using Microsoft Microsoft is your IT now so you're basically becoming a, a normal user here you just basically need to create a ticket 
and it will have a number and then when you call them by phone you can have this number reference number and then they will quickly direct to you to whoever the right person is now it's important that you have these numbers um, like let's say what if the portal goes down and you don't have this number you can access this then it's really nice to just save these numbers in your email or somewhere where you can just call them and save some time you know what if you don't have to start from scratch because you're gonna go to level one level two all that you just give them the number and then they will know where it is maybe it's really at the end where some expert is working on it so you don't need to go through everything else purchase services is something that uh, it will take you back to your like you know what we discussed about the plans and things and uh, you guys probably noticing it right now is most of the things are just it's just keep repeating itself to different ways so if we go back in here message center uh, it's basically what's going on right now so prevent to fix issues stay informed basically this is the ID number and this is what's going on you can click on this and we'll find more information about this so it tells you right here office 265 group now supports e-discovery and this kind of like more of information right here additional information what do I need to know what do I need to change uh, ahead of the time so it's a really good place to kind of uh, keep yourself up to date because something might be happening and you might not know you might spend a lot of time just searching outside while you have it here so that's why it's really important and you can put your number here and you can text to yourself so if some message comes in you can see it on your phone pretty cool stuff right here tools really this is something if you want to do more uh, detail learning for Office 365 by tools like downloading certain tools you might might, might be one interested in uh, PowerShell kind of tools and all these other uh, different tools that are coming out right now since it's a new technology new thing for Microsoft so a lot of people are building third-party tools things like that and that's that's kind of related to that so in the next video we will discuss admin center in admin center be basically with this is where we will check like you know if you have an email that's blocked or you want to do a lot of uh, admin side of administration uh, Skype SharePoint and uh, other pl places and this is probably the two main one for you guys uh, if you're sh working on SharePoint there's gonna be another main one but this is where we will be in the next video uh, we're gonna be talking about the admin section and the last video we will uh, do troubleshooting. Troubleshooting mean like what normal users will go through. So, see you guys in that video.